across Australia and New Zealand, this is Sky News. Quite better days, to be quite honest. Uh, I was just started as a spot fire, but it just got out of hand. Hundreds of firefighters continue to battle blazes on the New South Wales central coast, but weather conditions have improved overnight. No gas. Russia carries out its threat to cut gas supplies to the Ukraine. Marching into 2006 with a parade in central London. And in sport, the war of words continues. Warren and Smith continue their verbal stash ahead of the third test. Sky weather, widespread showers and storms in the west, cooler in the southeast with light rain. Sky News, first edition with Vanessa Trezard. Good morning and thanks for your company here at First Edition. Craig Nornberg's including breakthrough, Shane Warne's magic spin on display in Sydney. And Tony Blair's day in the life. Birdsville's been up there for a few days now. It's hot. For sure. The top story is now on Sky News. There's been a great escape in Tasmania with three men rescued from a burning mine shaft. The blaze broke out at the Avery Nickel Mine on the state's west coast. A convicted pedophile who spent more than half his life in West Australian prisons will reportedly receive tens of thousands of dollars in benefits from the British government. 67-year-old Robert Excel, who was deported to the UK from Perth last year, will receive $19,000 in backdated benefits. And at least five people have died after the collapse of a roof at an ice rink in Germany's Bavarian Alps. Around 50 people had been inside the building at the time of the accident. Sky News brings you the news on the hour and every hour. Stay with us. We'll have the very latest from London for you next.